Well, hello my lovely nestlings and welcome to today's video where I'm going to rank my green palettes. I love green. I love green a lot. I'm kind of green, well, minty green today. So I'm feeling fresh. <laughs> wow. And if you're new, welcome. My name is Nikki. I'm 46 from the Netherlands, hence the accent. And that's the kind of things that you get on this channel. Basically me being weird, awkward, and um, some might even say funny. I've also been called relaxing, which is very counterintuitive. Yes, today, as I said, my green palette. Even though I'm feeling fresh, I really need to stop saying that. <laughs> I actually pulled 11 palettes. Um, there is kind of one palette in here that is maybe not technically green, but it feels green. So what I did is I went through my collection and I pulled all the palettes that are green, that are green in my opinion. Sometimes it's even the outer packaging that is green. I kind of discarded those as well because I wanted to have palettes in here that had at least half or more need to be green-ish. There are a few palettes that you guys might say, but isn't that a green palette as well? Well, not by my criteria, apparently, or I don't have that palette. It could be that as well. Let's start with palette number 11 then. Yes, which is an older palette. Um, yeah, and it's this one, the Makeup Obsession So Do palette. Now this, because it's the outer packaging is green, and it's, I don't know, cannabis inspired, whatever, that's a, it's a plant that's also green. <laughs> When we open her up, she is green. She, there are some uh, some neutrally shades in here, so there are a few browns in here. But overall, it's a green palette with different green undertones. The quality is very nice, um, and the pants are magnetic, which I like as well. Uh, yeah, I what can I say? I really do like the makeup obsession formula. So if you see this palette, I don't think you will be disappointed. I had a lot of fun. I did. I think I did looks with everything that I have here. But I don't know if all of them are online. So if you want to know anything, search my channel. And um, you will find if I've done a video. But yeah, number 11 is the So Dope palette from Makeup Obsession. Then number 10. And number 10 is here because it's just, I don't know. It's, it's a palette that has a very high cute factor for me. But it's not a palette that I... Honest, honestly, I, I bought it for the theme and the packaging and I liked the color story well enough to, to basically validate to myself that I made the right decision. That's kind of it. And it is from Star Wars and Colourpop. It's the child palette. It's the cute factor. Yes. But the color story itself is also green. You know, you only have one row of neutralies and the rest are green. I really do like the quality of this. I don't use it. A lot though, because out of, even though I have, well, 11 greenish palettes, I, um, I don't know. I don't usually grab for this. This one is on display next to me. I actually grab the Mandalorian more often than this one. So I don't know. The rest of the color stories excite me just a little bit more. But if we were going by cute factor, this would have one hands down. Yes. Okay. Let's go to number uh, nine. Yes, number nine is a palette that is new to my collection and it is a nice quality. I had a, I played with it twice and I think the quality is nice. The mattes are nice. They blend well. They layer well. The shimmers are very, very pretty. And if I use that jelly primer that I've been using, I don't have any creasing. And with the jelly primer, I also make sure that there's matte shadow on my lid. And then I tap the jelly primer on. Then I slap the shimmer on, pack it on, and then I don't have any creasing, even with this formula. But the rest that I have, it's just a little bit more exciting for me right now so number nine is the earthy palette from beauty bay the 16 pen so the color story is very pretty now if you are a green lover it's almost like this it's almost mandatory to have in your collection you know um i don't think that you will be very much disappointed uh it's a nice quality it's oh, hair it's not amazeballs. It didn't blow me away, but it's a nice quality. And I do like the Beauty Bay formula. I do feel though that their special palette, so the one, the Wilderness for, for instance, I don't know, I kind of feel that that one is almost a little bit nicer. 
it has a little bit more depth i feel at least than this one does but that's personal preference but i do think it's very nice and i think that if you like the color story you won't be uh, that much disappointed there is no video as i'm filming this on my channel with this but i did film with it so maybe it is already online by the time this video goes up you never know with me then i have a palette here that is number eight and the reason that it is here is because it's technically not a green palette per se um, but it makes it's it's a palette that makes me very happy that inspires me that when it launched because it's an older palette i used it so so often on and off camera there's a color combination here that i used to do a lot and it's just a great quality i don't know if it's in stock right now though and it is from juvia's place it's the tri palette now this is a green palette for me i know it's out of packaging i know then i open it up and this is this is where the more more green than other color came into play so basically you have your green row right then this is also a green this one it's also a green on me so here's the color and this is actually one that kind of stays green on me it's so so stunning this is one of my favorite inner corner highlights i need to put this palette next to me because i want to use it more what i love to do with this palette is the combination between this very green that stays relatively green for me and i need to explain it i'm a light warm olive but not extremely warm i'm in mid-tone warm basically these types of shades and you can kind of see it happening on camera already that it turns a little okay my camera stopped recording because something was slow and i know it ain't me so i don't know let's let's just continue you can kind of see it when i turn it like this on camera you can see it turning yellow that's usually what happens with shades like this on me because of my greenness when i put it a little bit to the side you can kind of hopefully see that it it pulls a little bit more green it does stay greenish for me it does pull a hint yellow but it stays pretty green uh, especially when i top it off with this so this one was usually in the corner in the corner in her corner wow uh, in her corner <coughs> and then topped it with this one then i just did an orange and basically i played here so i played with this one then this one deepened it up and then this one on the lid or i just used this one and then did this one in the inner corner you know in the inner eye part area and then this one on the lid so basically i played here mostly it's my favorite I recently uploaded a video, palettes that made me happy. This palette is in there, but it not only makes me happy, it makes me, it inspires me as well. So this is a palette that, yeah, the, 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 again, the reason that it's not high is because it's technically not a very, very green palette. I don't know why it's just here for a reason. The next palette that I'm going to mention is a palette that is... A smaller six pen palette and these are greens but these are special tone greens so that's why it's here because it's a very very interesting color story and it is the bubble time palette from unique beauty i do have a code with unique beauty and it will be listed down below in the description box i did get this palette sent to me in pr i got the whole collection but this is just uh it it kind of pulls a little bit it's a shame because this also looks very blue on camera i, I don't know let's see if i can fix that way okay so i kind of put the white balance a little bit differently so now it's more it's still a little bit too blue but it's a little bit better but if i make this greener i become greener as well and that's not really i am kind of green but not that green so this is kind of it's kind of a minty gray green if that makes any sense at all maybe it helps if i put it here probably not but it's a very very cute color and it's just such an interesting shade and i need to i need to swatch this one because it's just such a stunning shade uh can we put it here yes and the formula is very very smooth it is a bluer green but it's just so pretty in the shade lufa let's put the shade lufa here as well oh. i don't know if you can see but there is a green shift in there can you see that can you it's an orange yellow and green i don't know if you can i don't think so so no you can uh not i'm so sorry but the quality of this is amazing i did a video with this one as well but the quality is so so nice and the whole color story it's just such a fun fresh refreshing color story that it is here and the quality is extremely extremely nice okay then palette number six right yeah palette number six i have here 
because the color story makes me um, happy to look at. I can do quite a lot with it and I really did like the quality. And it is from Ace Beauté, it's the Tropical Paradise. Can we just appreciate? I, can, I almost want my house in these colors because this is just so, so pretty. And I don't know, you can kind of see here. Uh, the reason that I love orange so much is because of this combination. I don't know. I just feel orange is very flattering on me. But when we open her up, this is the color story. Which is very, very fun. And again, it is almost all green shades with the exception of this one and this one. Uh, even in here, there is a hint of green. So... It's just a very, very nice quality. I love the color story. The shimmers are stunning. And you can do a lot with it. So that's why it's at number six. Now we're going to go to my top five. And number five is a palette that looks... It doesn't look that green. But it is deceptional. Because it kind of is. I think I have ghosts in the computer. I don't know. <laughs> I changed my setup again. Uh, and I don't know what is happening but palette number five is a palette that if you are that's what i was saying if you are a cool toned olive this can be your neutral palette the downside is we cannot shop uh, with this brand right now and it is from sigil and sigil is a russian based indie brand and she cannot accept international orders right now which is well for obvious reasons you know um but it sucks anyway um Yeah, and it is the Tender Gazelle. This is palette number five. So when you look at this, you're like, yeah, but it's not really that green. I know. Um, these are the only two mattes. Then you get the rest are shimmers. But there is a shift. I don't know if I can show you the shifts kind of in there. They all have a green in there. Even this one, which is counterintuitive because it's a blue. But on I don't know, for me... Especially when I do this, it pulls, you can still see the blue, but it, it did something. It, the blue went away, basically. So it's a pop of something fun, um, but it's just such a, yeah, it's sh such a nice palette. It's so such a good quality. I hope that the whole situation will be resolved extremely soon and uh, we can shop from her again because her quality is amazing. So yeah, the Tender Sand Gazelle is on number five. Palette number four. I have to give a disclaimer. This palette looks extremely atrocious because it fell. Um, shades were shattered. There was... Cursing involved, a little bit of crying maybe, and I think I'm just going to repurchase a pristine palette because this is a palette that I I just I just need I just need a good one. Um, I love it that much, and it is from flop. It's from Glam Shop, and it is the Glam Vemora or the Camo palette. So unfortunately, this is what mine looks like right now. Um, and it is a green and brown palette. However, all the... I know this looks marbled. I know. <laughs> But even if... <laughs> it's because this, this is... You know. Um, so I, I have an extreme camo shade here. But it is basically a camo palette. It's a green and brown palette. But the green is more uh, apparent than the brown. The shimmers, the shifts that are in here. Maybe I can kind of show it a little bit. It's such a, such a dirty palette. Oh, she's such a... Yeah, I don't think so. I don't think I can show you. I did do a video with this one. And it is just such a stunning palette. But this, if you love greens. But you want to be a little bit. Almost, I want to say almost safer. Maybe a little bit every day. But also, if you are an olive. And you're looking for a neutral palette for you. This is a stunning palette. This is definitely, definitely a stunning palette. The shades that are in here. I cannot even... It doesn't do it justice at all. It just it's a, as I said, mine fell, and I just need to give me a new one. But yeah, I love this palette a lot. The more the camo palette from Glam Shop, and I did do a video with that one, and it is on my channel. Okay, then palette number three is a palette that I think I used this for members only video. It's a palette that I actually got as a gift um, from one of you. I do have an affiliate code with the brand, which will be linked down below as well. And it's a palette that I have been wanting to try for 
as when it launched. But for me, being in the Netherlands, a US based brand, it's it, it's it becomes twice as expensive. That's just the way that it is. So I was so, so happy that I got this as a gift. And it is the Cobra palette from Clarity Cosmetics. This is number three. It's just the whole vibe. Now, fun fact is we have a snake in the house and it is, um, is it called a corn snake? Could be. We call it a red snake and it's basically, it's not a, it's not a venomous snake, but there's just something about the cobra as a snake. It just, it's so primal and it freaks me out, but it really attracts me at the same time, you know? So I, I just, I just love the whole vibe of this and the color story. It's just such a stunning color story. Now I was kind of thinking, do I pull it in? Do I not pull it in? But honestly, it's all kind of greenish with the exception of these two. But it is such a stunning palette. The pants are huge. The formula is very, very interesting, but extremely nice to work with. So the mattes are very, very pigmented, but still very controllable, easy to blend out, easy to layer. The shimmers are stunning. They are a little bit... They feel a little bit dry and sticky at the same time. But when I... Can you see that? Yes, it's a swatch, but still I could get this with a brush as well. And because the formula is a little bit stickier and a little bit dry, it does take me a little bit to build it up because it's so sticky. Uh, but because it's a drier formula, they don't crease on me. And just this, this whole yummy, I want to live in a swamp row. It, oh, and I love that it is just that I can do a matte and a corresponding shimmer. It's just such a cool, nice... Oh, I love it. Yes, that's why it's number three. Why is it not higher? Because I love the rest a little bit more. I need to clean my fingers. The number two palette. It's uh, a very much a nice alternative for my number one. So that is actually why it's on number two. I know a lot of you, uh, you will probably know my number one. Probably. So pause the video and leave your guesses down below which is my number one, which you probably all know. But maybe you kind of want to guess which is my number two. If you guess correctly, you win absolutely nothing. I said that uh, besides the fact that the joy of having guessed correctly and knowing me so well, I don't know. Let's <laughs> Number two is this one. <laughs> the um, Zilone from Glam Shop. This was actually the first palette that I tried from Glam Shop. And this also fell. But this survived a little bit better than the other one. But this is just such a stunning color story. It is a little bit more brown green than the tri palette. So basically the, the shades that I love from the tri palette are in here kind of as well. Um, let me show you this shade and I think this one as well, right? Yeah, so these two shades, let me swatch them. So this one also shifts orange green, so stunning. Uh, we also have a darker one in here. Let me grab that one too. And let me then just also swatch Monstera. So here are most of, oh, I'm forgetting one. Let me swatch that one as well. Let me put that here, oh, it's so smooth. So here are all the shimmers. And they are just yummy, 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 yummy. The mattes are extremely easy to work with. They are pigmented, they layer, they blend. Um, and the nice thing is that even though, let me just swatch this one, which looks yellow on camera. It is, this is a little bit better. So it, it is largely yellow, but it's still has a hint of green for me and that is just so interesting and then especially if i put this shade on top which you can use as a topper you get such a nice shimmery oh goodness it's so so nice it's such a good quality honestly and i know that a lot of you guys are very very sad that you missed out on my number one but this can definitely be a, a nice alternative and then we go to my number one and you guys already know which is my number one green palette I don't have, it's the snake palette from, from Sigil. It could only be this one. So the shade that all you guys are 
very very excited about is this one my palette looks very dirty as you can see so the lightest shimmer is here and it's not the same these two are from glam shop it's not the same but it's a similar vibe now i do know that i don't have an art an Yeah, this is the shade that has everyone bonkers. Yeah, that's the shade that has everyone bonkers. And uh, unfortunately, I still don't have an alternative for it. There are alternatives for this one, though. There are, because I have seen them online. I just... Maybe, maybe Millie has an alternative from Bad to the Brow. She probably has an alternative for this shade. But it is just... Yeah, it's just such a stunning, stunning shade. And that, oh. so yeah, this could only be my number one. Yeah, I still think that this is a very, very nice alternative though. If you are, it's not the same, but yeah, there's only one snake palette. So there, there, there's also only one number one for me. Then that is it for today's video. Let me know if you have any of the palettes. Let me know if um, there are any, especially from uh, the snake palette. If you're like, oh, but I think I have, I have a shade like that. Let me know. Let us know. Because I know that that shade was, is basically a unicorn for a lot of people. I will list all the palettes down below. I will try to link as many as possible. And yeah, if you want to know if I have done videos search my channel and I'm probably a heap will uh, come up and then that is going to be it for today thank you so so much for watching if you like the video give it a thumbs up if you have any questions or comments please leave them down in the comment section below I am going to wish you a fantastic day a fabulous evening may your foundation always match your neck and I will see you very soon in my next one hopefully without the ghosties in the computer though because they're kind of they're early yeah it's it ain't Halloween yet mm -hmm.